Some of you started building today. I told you that the people that were building that weren't using the Russian dolls, they had some choices of materials. And there were two, three different options of straws with different connectors. Two of the connectors were the really big round circled connectors. And one of the connectors were the little jacks. Many people gave up when they were using the big like tennis ball connectors. In fact, they gave up so much that we actually put them away. We didn't even continue using them. Why did people give up on them? Because. Jordan, why did people give up on them? It was too hard. Well, what made it hard? Because this looked hard. The what pipes, the pipes, the pipes, the pipes wouldn't stick in. And they, the pipes in the, and that keep on falling apart whenever you put in one in. Oh, so then why did you choose then to move to these ones? Because these are also straws and connectors. What because made one these, these straws and connectors are easier. Oh, what made them easier? Because they, because Why do they stick better? Because you know how the other ones have like um, like the little ball? You know how they put them in? It's very hard to stick them in. Like you're using all of your muscles that you got. But these ones all you're just doing is using little jacks. Oh. The jacks are much easier to do because the other ones are kind of, are like this. Wait, it won't very really draw yeah. okay. It's so hard to like, it's so hard that you need to use all of your muscles like to squeeze it in like you're taking away some muscles but, but since these one, since these ones, yes, I know they're the same, but in except these ones are jacks. See how this is a ball and this is a jack? Yes. Yeah. That one's easier be, because the, which one? Because the, the jack. Because, the jack one. Because this one. Yes. Because this one, it's see how it's very hard, like. Rock yeah. Solid. Yes. And their little holes. Yes. Um, mm. the other ones are they're very like just like very just like jacks. They're just jacks. So um. since they're jacks, it's just easy because Wait. it's way like very like. They're small, they're big, and those one, the jacks, yes. are, are so, a little softer, but the balls are much harder. Okay, so then I have another question for you. Based on that, yesterday when you were building, and we were looking at using different materials to make structures, many of you told me that the heavier materials needed to be used where in our structures? Where did we need to use the heavier materials? And what part of the structure? On the bottom, because you know how when something's heavy? Yes. Really, really, really heavy, like? Yes. Like a really, really heavy block? Yes. It makes it harder when, when you met, Put the light stuff on top, and the big, and the heavy stuff on the bottom. It how doesn't fall. How does it make it hard? Though? No, she means it's heavier, like harder on the bottom, so that it doesn't then fall. Yeah, but when, when something's softer. Yes. When something's softer on the top. Yes. When something harder on the bottom. It doesn't fall. It's if 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 the soft ones they will be small so if and if 
because the heavy ones, they should be big. Because the big ones go on the bottom and small ones go on the top. Okay, so but then but Aiden, I have a question. But because Aiden. all of that may be being true, think about the straws that we used. Were they heavy materials? Long materials. So the straws were used on the bottom of the structure, but it didn't fall down. Why? Aiden, why don't you think that it fell down even though the straws were used on the bottom? Because we keep fixing it when it breaks. But I would have thought eventually, like, look, that structure is actually taller than many people. Because it has a flat bottom. But does everything have a flat bottom when it's no, here? No, no, that's because it's all stick together when I, when I made a structure like that. Um, when, um, when it went apart, it was falling in the pot. Oh, so would I actually be able to put anything on top of it? Would this structure, do you think, have supported any weight? If I took a book and stuck it on top, would it have stayed together? Yes. What yeah. do you think? No. If we make it again, we might test it. We can test it out. Good, but I want to know a prediction first. What do you think? Would it have stuck together? Dibia, what do you think? Well, when we did the rushing dolls, it was hard to do, do it for both. But these, the, the jacks and the sticks got much easier for, for others. Okay, but then that being said, could we have put any weight on top of it? If I had taken a book and stuck it on top, do you think the structure would have held it without it breaking? Did we have? It might fall. Why? Because if you make a structure, then you put a heavy bucket, it, it can fall. But would it have fallen if I made a structure out of boxes? No. Why? No. Why not? Why might it not have fallen if I made a structure out of boxes? Jordan? Because um, boxes... Um, Boxes are made of, of kind of materials. Um, okay, but boxes, this is made out of a material because, too. Um, Let's just let people share first. Why, Jordan, what else were you um, going to say? Because if you stack a box, if you um, stack um, boxes, um, if you stack like the gem box, if you stop with a gem box like that, yes. and you put a very tall gem um, tower, yes. a gem tower, yes. um, and you put a um, heavy book, it wouldn't fall because um, the boxes for gems are hard and they don't break like those pieces. Those are soft ones and, and those are soft and the, the gem boxes are hard. Oh, so then I guess materials kind of matter when we're building with things. That's what we said yesterday. They do. That's true. But it also makes us think that if we were going to be building something that we wanted to hold it, to support it, then what kind of materials do you think you might use? If you wanted to build a tower, a structure, something to support something else, what kind of materials do you think you might choose to use? Mm. Sarah? Stuff that doesn't have holes because if you want to put a book on top of it, it can't have holes because it might fall. Okay, what else would you it consider? Might. What else would you consider if you wanted to put something on top of it? Um, you should use those hard boxes and if you want to put uh like like five heavy books on them. And it wouldn't fall. Maybe it would get a little bit squish, but it wouldn't fall over like this. Why? Because because boxes are strong. They're made out of cardboard. Look. Oh, no, it's okay. You can just tell us. Like when you squeeze the box, yes, it gets a little squish, but it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't 
fall over like that. Oh, so I guess we have to think about that because tomorrow we have a bit of a challenge, a challenge that's different than our challenge from today. And it's going to make you consider which of many different kinds of materials you choose to build with. So while you built a really... Mr. Carey, please contact one of two Mr. 